What's up YouTube, Marin Edgar, and a lot of you have been asking me to make some serious gear porno. So I figured why not? This is going to be an overview of my snare drum rig. Now, I'm going to do a video for each one of these, showing off what they sound like and so you can hear them in a couple different settings. This is just going to give you a taste of what's to come. Let's do it. Alright, so in order of size, on the left here we have a highly modified Danny Carey signature snare drum. This is a 14 by 8 bronze. I had it burned by Ron Dunnett with acid. I put German die cast hoops on it. I swapped up the strainer and the butt plate for German equivalents as well. Next up there is a 14 by 8 SQ2 acrylic. Beside it we have a 14 by 8 SQ2 maple heavy in golden madrone semi-gloss. It also has that finish inside with black chrome hardware. Next up we have a 14x8 sonar signature light from the 80s. There's nothing light about this drum. This thing's a tank. It weighs a ton. And it's actually a birch drum, not beach like the signature heavies. Following, we actually do have a beach drum. This is an Ascent limited edition 14x7. These are only available in Canada. They're from Long & McQuaid exclusively commissioned this drum. Next up we have a Phonic reissue. A Select Force 14x6.5 which is also the size of the phonic ratio, forgot to mention. Following that, we have a 14 by 6 Beach Heavy SQ2 with ebony inside and outside. This is one of my favorite drums of all time. Next, we have a 14 by 6 Maple Medium SQ2 in semi-gloss bubinga. And this is the only SQ2 snare drum that I've ordered that didn't have a veneer inside, with the exception of the x-rays, because it's not an option. Finally, there is a 14x6 D-Lite. Now this is a current model D-Lite, so it's 2 millimeters thinner than the 2006 and previous models. Coming back around, we have a 14x5 Designer Maple Light in the now discontinued turquoise finish. Which is a shame, I really love that finish. Next up is the 14x5 Artist Steel. Now I took the black hardware off this drum to put on my Golden Madrone. To be honest, that's actually pretty much the main reason I ordered this drum, but it sounds fantastic, so I kept it around all chrome. Next up, we have a 14x5 S Classic snare drum. Now this is from the first run, and what's different is it has the single point lug, just like the designer series. Everything that they made after 2007 had a dual point lug, like the drum beside it, which is the Phil Rudd signature, which is a chrome over brass 14x5. Following that, I have two D471s. They're old school vintage beach sonars. Next up, we have a 14 by 4 and 3 quarters, roughly, sonar super extra from the late 50s. Now, why I said roughly that size is that they weren't using the current system with inches, they were using centimeters at that time. So, the measurements didn't translate over properly and now current heads and hoops don't fit, which is why this drum is not put together yet. I got it off eBay a while ago and just haven't got around to it. Here we have a pre-2007 D-Lite 14 by four and a quarter. As I mentioned on the 14 by six D-Lite, this particular drum is two millimeters thicker maple. Finally, we have a beach pancake snare, which is a 14 by two and a half from the 60s. Also a sonar, of course. Next up, we're into the 13s. This is a 13 by 8 Maple Thin SQ2 in red tribal with ebony inside. There's a 13 by 8 X-Ray SQ2, 13 by 7 Artist Ambonia. I'll be honest, I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's a really cool looking veneer though, which is a, it's essentially a maple heavy SQ2 shell. Last one on this row, we have a 13 by 5 and 3 quarters Benny Greb signature snare drum. Amazing drum. Coming back to the next row, we have a 13 by 5 Artist Earth, which is a 27 millimeter beach shell. This is actually 2 millimeters thicker than a reference drum. This is a 13 by 4 and a quarter Birch Thin SQ2 with ebony inside, mint sparkle outside. Then we have a 12 by 7 and a half SQ2 X ray, followed by as far as I know, the only 12 by 7 Maple Light Designer snare drum in existence. It's in blanched roots with a smoke fade, black hardware. There's also blanched roots inside. Next, we have the first high-end sonar drum I ever ordered, 
which is a 12 by 5 Maple Light designer. This is the exact same drum that they modeled the Gavin Harrison signature snare drum after. Following it, there's a 12 by 5 S Classic snare drum and a 12 by 4 and a quarter Birch Thin SQ2 with ebony both inside and out. Next, we have a 10 by 7 SQ2 X ray, followed by 10 by 6 and 10 by 5 Maple Light designers in Walnut Roots and Tribal, respectively. Next up, we have a 10 by 4 and a quarter Birch Thin SQ2 with ebony inside and outside. And finally, we have the 10 by 2 Jungle Snare Drum from the Force series. What's up, YouTube? It's a snare pimp. Let's take a minute and just tone it down a bit. Walk you through my harem of snappy little hoes. Snap.